All right, so as you guys can see from that last part of the video, I printed a 3D printed bird nest. Isn't that cool? It actually looks like a beehive to me. What do you guys think it looks like? Post in the comment section below. But it has all the features that a bird nest would need. Um, these things here, the front panels, they all go in a downward motion, so you're not gonna get a whole lot of rainwater in there, right? It has a perch for the birds to stand on right here and look inside. And um, I can fold it up and have it, you know, for another season. So, but I just thought it was really neat. So I wanna talk more about the bird nest and I wanna talk about other projects that I'm doing with 3D printers, but I wanna talk just a little bit about this 3D printer that I got, the JG Magic or JG Maker Magic. Um, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool tool if you're a tinkerer like me. So I have another channel, my Home Science Ideas channel that I'm gonna be covering a lot of these topics on that channel. But um, for now, I wanted to show you guys kind of what it could do for home farm ideas. So this is the first thing I'm doing. So let's go ahead and let's put it up on the tree and then we'll talk a little bit more about the printer and we'll also talk about something that uh, is very dear to me and it happened here recently. So let's get to it. Looks pretty cool. So, one of the things I wanted to thank you guys for was this. <clears throat> My original videos, all I wanted to do was help people and um, promise myself I wasn't gonna cry. No, I'm kidding. Um, my original videos, all I wanted to do was show people what I'm doing in my garden and help people. And you guys have helped me reach uh, over 100,000 subscribers now. So I wanted to show you guys what it says in the plaque here. If I can get it. There we go. So I'd like to get my other channel to this point as well. Um, home Science Ideas is going to be the one that I really want to work on as well as the fish tank. So thank you guys so much. This means a lot to me. I'm going to hang this up in my office at my street sweeping company. And um, thank you guys. You know, so... Um, I don't know what else to say other than thank you. It's just been a great journey. I've made a lot of videos and I've helped a lot of people and I've mostly been helped by a lot of you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, God bless you guys and I really appreciate this. So let's get back to this video. Real quick, I wanna go over some of the pros and cons of this printer. Number one, con, and I'll just go over the cons first. Number one, the print quality is not super good. So I have other printers that can print really well. Um, but the JG Magic, it's not magical when it comes to print quality. Functional parts though, that's a whole different story. This is more of an art, but it's also functional, right? And so a lot of you guys might not even notice, but uh, the print quality on this is not very super good i mean it's good but it's not as good as it could be and there are things that you can do to make this printer really well and really good and work really well but you need to know a little bit about um firmware and how to update the firmware and all those things so that's one one thing about this printer that is a little bit of a con for me is that it's not super good quality out of the box another con for me was that the bed um, that you print on it didn't come um, it's not very good basically it, it's not level okay so the actual bed is warped um, and you would expect paying uh, you know for something that the bed doesn't come warped okay so but you can level it yourself and all that but you need a real flat surface and so what I ended up doing was putting a glass bed on it and I got it cut at a glass shop near my home and um, that almost eliminated my leveling, uh, my leveling issues. So you can buy glass beds for this, and I'll put those in the description below. Um, unfortunately, they don't make any for um, the JG Magic specific, but Creality makes one that fits to this printer. So I'll link that in the description below. 
Uh, and I'm going to show you the STL file too. If you guys ever want to print this, you guys can go in the comment section below. But let's talk about some of the pros. One of the pros that I really like about this is that I can now print things that I've always wanted to do, parts, all kinds of different stuff. As you guys have seen a little bit, I've been printing functional parts for my aquaponic system, okay? And so I can now print just about anything. Um, there's a site called Thingiverse uh, that you can go to and you can download STL files and you can just print these things off. And I mean, we're talking cheap. This thing right here, it cost me maybe I don't know, at the most, I'd probably say about 45 cents with electricity and everything. 45 cents for the plastic and everything, okay? Um, you can print stuff that's really strong, okay? I'm, I'm actually printing parts for one of my street sweeping trucks. Um, and if you guys wanna follow my, um, my business YouTube channel, um, but I'm gonna be printing something for one of my street sweeping trucks that uh, is gonna help me uh, with cutting down on time. So this 3D printer, is helping me so so um, get my creativity going okay uh, so that's one of the pros another pro is is that it's 200 bucks like 200 dollars in shipping cost okay that's really cool I mean that's unheard of you can actually do the you can print I mean just think about it you can print just about anything you can print I, I've seen a guy print a fish tank um, and you know make it to where it holds water and everything so you can print stuff that holds water. You can print a cup if you wanted to, you know? And this, uh, this PLA, this plastic, it's made of corn, basically. So it's, it's uh, biodegradable. I mean, it breaks down really quickly. So uh, those are two pros that I really like about this. I know this one pro is gonna sound a little um, weird to you guys, but uh, this has been the only printer that made it really super easy. They thought through the, um, the whole action of you know changing the filament so you can change the filament on this really easily where other higher end ones they they haven't even thought through the process yet of changing the filament and making it easy on the user so it's easy to change it but this one's more automated and that's what i like about it it, it actually is really the process of changing the filament is actually thought through it heats up and then it basically pulls the, uh, it actually pushes the filament in a little bit and then pulls it out. So that clears the actual, any clogs that might be in there in the, uh, the hot end of this thing. So that's another pro for me for this one. It's a really low budget um, printer, but it has something in there that's high, high quality. So that's it for today, you guys. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any questions about 3D printing, and I know you guys are a lot of, you guys are, following my channel because you're into farming and stuff like that. Um, this is just another way for me to get stuff done around my gardens or my, um, or my, you know, my aquaponics system, all that stuff. This is just another way for me to have a creative outlet. Um, I want you guys to follow me on my, my science channel, it's home science ideas. Um, and I'll put everything in the description below. If you guys want to pick up this printer, I do get portions of the sales on this from Amazon. Um, that would be great if you guys wanted to pick it up. And maybe some PLA plastic and stuff. Um, I'll put it all in the description below. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really want to hear from you guys on 3D printing and some ideas. What should I print next? What should I do? You know, is there anything that you guys can think of for your gardens that maybe you'd like to see me print uh, before you buy one? You know, so for yourselves. I want you guys to get involved though as well. So check it out, you know, uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell icon, you guys, so you get all my updates, all right? God bless you guys, and like always, peace.